Oh, hallelujah. We give God all the glory. Papa, we give you praise and honor because you deserve more than we can even say. May your name alone be exalted today to your children are waiting for your counsel. We pray that you teach us today to, to understand you better. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? We'll take our devotional reading from 1 John chapter 1, verses 5. Hallelujah. John chapter 1, verses 5 to 10. I don't know if you have a king can some of you, honey. I won't make the kind of thing, but I couldn't tell you. It talks about living in the light. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Evangelist Mrs. Jacqueline Enning, that the Lord through me is bringing his word to all of us. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. And it reads, This is the message we heard from Jesus and now declare to you, God is light and there is no darkness in him at all. So we are lying if we say we have fellowship with God. Hallelujah. If we say we have fellowship with God, but go on living in spiritual darkness, we are not preaching, we are not practicing the truth. But if we are living in the light, as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with each other. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Hallelujah. And so the Bible is drawing our attention. The Holy Spirit is teaching us today that we need to live in the light as children of God. And that Jesus, the message that Jesus gave unto his disciples, through the light it has traveled until now. And whoever is in the light, whoever has Jesus in his or her life, lives in the light. And so we need to brighten, or we need to, brighten wherever every corner that we get to wherever we are the light should shine there that is why the bible is telling us that no one can say that he or she has fellowship with god but will continue to live in spiritual darkness it means that when jesus comes into our lives he brings light into us that is why yesterday we learned that we have to shine brightly for the lord today too the bible is teaching us that jesus himself is a light therefore if he is dwelling in us it means that every thing of the dark everything that comes from the enemy should flee because the presence of god the presence of jesus the presence of, of the holy spirit brings light into our whole life may the lord help us may the lord Help us to and snatch us from this dark world. The Bible says that no one can say, I have fellowship with the Father, but still continue to live in spiritual darkness. That is why we need to confess our sins before the Lord, because His blood is speaking on our behalf. That while we were yet sinners, Christ came and He died for us. He shed His blood on the cross. And the blood is still speaking on our behalf. Therefore, I pray that we all allow the Lord to cleanse us, the blood of Jesus to cleanse us so that we will be pure, we'll be children of the light. So that wherever we get to, darkness will flee from us. And so if we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar. Because the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But when we confess our sins, he is faithful and he is just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Are you ready to allow the Savior to cleanse you from all unrighteousness? I pray that you allow yourself to be cleansed 
by the blood of Jesus. The blood that never loses its power. The blood that availeth much. God richly bless you as we continue to live in the light as God's children. And if Jesus does not come today, we'll meet tomorrow on the line. Have a fruitful day. Bye-bye.